What's up, YouTube? I know, of course, like always, there's some change in this video, but it's for the better. Um, I really enjoyed the bookshelves I had up last time. Uh, great quality, and I really like the way things are going, but uh, eventually I would start to, uh, some of the interests I do have in other pieces are a bit wider, a bit deeper, and it, they just would not have fit in those cases. They were a bit too, um, like not deep enough. Um, so we did switch back to the garage shelving, although I did manage to get um, an all white garage shelving by getting lining and, and white tape. And there's still some areas that need some help, as you can see, um, some empty areas, which is exciting. And that's the current progress right now. So the main spot I've completed um, will be the DC ladies. So it was just these two birds of prey, um, but now we're stepping into, um, uh, oh my God, I forgot the name. The, um, the vixens basically uh, with Catwoman, Harley Quinn. Once I get some more pieces over this way, then Huntress could go over there, maybe with a Batman premium format, but we'll see. And basically just wanted to give a quick review of the Catwoman that I'm sure many of you have seen. Um, I have had the Gargoyle version, which you'll see in my previous posts, but this Catwoman, honestly, to me, in my personal opinion, surpasses that. Again, not shitting on the uh, gargoyle version, I just feel like this is definitely more classic Catwoman, you know, with the cleavage and, and the, the way her mask is and holding that piece of jewelry. Um, this is a regular, I didn't get the exclusive because I didn't like her holding Batman's cow. It just felt a little off. Um, and of course with her cat down here, which you can take off. The base is detailed nicely those you know, touch of gold and the the dusting of each step and of course that bright bright red you'll notice there's like some airbrush red above her leg to kind of show that reflection and the whip is um is movable it's bendable so you're able to kind of move that around however you'd like and that portrait that portrait is a winner I think she's very sexy, very sneaky. Um, and yeah, she measures at about 22 inches tall. Uh, so the tallest of the three, but I think it works. I did just hang up that Batman uh, poster that I have there from um, Brentwood side. I have the Brentwood side up there as well for Ahsoka. And then next to her, we have the Hell on Wheels Harley Quinn, which I had done a small video on her earlier. Amazing pieces. I love the way the three of them look together. And I am super excited to finally be getting a Poison Ivy in the collection. Um, she would be replacing Huntress. So Ivy will go there in the middle. Huntress will come on this side with two good guys on each side. Or We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, the Star Wars section has slimmed down a bit only because we did have to sell Vader. Um, an incident had happened, I feel like I maybe mentioned it in an earlier video, where I was putting up a large pop display. The screw came loose. Um, I thought I had it in the stud. I guess I wasn't, I wasn't accurate. It came down, uh, was still up on one side, so it came down like an anchor. And the first two pieces that hit were Asaz Ventress and Vader. Ventress got pretty banged up in certain areas, like here and here and down here. Uh, her wrist back there is also missing a little piece. Other than that, she's fine. But when it did happen, she fell off her base, landed on Vader. Vader fell over, his peg broke. And of course, his saber broke, so it no longer worked. Couldn't stand looking at it, so had him sold. Um, however, this is currently what we're working with uh, until I do decide to buy other pieces. And 
We'll see where it's going. I'm excited. I'm loving the way these three are looking. So, I also have the child Grogu here in a Roomsta. Got the books down there. Got my pops up here. And some miscellaneous stuff up there. That is the collection once again. Excited to see what's to come. So lights are gonna go up there and then I'm deciding if I do wanna get into any one third pieces and that's where they will go. Um, and if they need to go for one fourth, then I'll add a shelf a few inches up off the ground so that they fit and kind of uh, match the flow that we have going here. But again, we shall see with time. So hope you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.